This video clip show you how to do simple linear regression modeling using SPSS. In this example, it contains information from 236 subjects and we like to model weight variable using height variable. Before you run the simple linear regression model to model the relation between weight and height variables, you want to make a scatter plot to visualize the relation. If the relation is not linear, then the simple linear regression model may be inappropriate. To model the weight variable using height variable using simple linear regression, first click on Analyze and select Regression and select Linear. Since you mo want to model the weight variable, the weight is a dependent variable and height will be independent variable. If you wish to save the predicted value or residuals, you can click on Save button and check on Unstandardize or Standardize predicted values and check on Unstandardize or Standardize residuals. And if you wish to save the prediction intervals for mean or individual cases, you can check on mean and individual boxes and you can specify the confidence level for these prediction intervals. And you click Continue. We can use the residuals that we have saved to check the model assumption. However, we can also make a residual plot by click on Plot button and select Standardize Residual for Y and standardize predictive value for x to make the residual plot. We can also do the normality plot from this dialog box to check normality assumption. After you've done that, we could continue. If we click OK, SPSS will put the result in the output window. In the output, you see a model summary table. The number 0.777 under R is the absolute value of the Pearson's correlation. R square is just square of R, which is a coefficient of determination, 0.603. This means that around 60% of the variability in the weight variable that is explained by the height variable through this regression model. If you scroll down further, you see the analysis variance table. This table tells you how useful this model is. The number under SIG is the p-value for testing utility of the model. If this number is less than 0.05, then we're going to conclude the model is useful at the 5% level of significance. This number, 142.820, is the mean square root of the residual, which is a good estimate for the sigma square of the regression model. In the coefficient table, you see the estimate for the y-intercept and the estimate for slope. To the right, you see the t-score for testing intercept equal to 0 and slope equal to 0. Number under SIG are the p-value for testing whether the intercept is 0 or slope is equal to 0 or not. Since these numbers are very small, then we're going to conclude that the y-intercept is statistically significantly different from 0 and also slope is statistically significantly different from 0. That also implies that the height variable is is a significant variable for predicting the weight variable. In a coefficient table, we can read out this regression equation that one hat, y hat is equal to the y intercept plus slope time x. Since we asked to save predictive value, the predicted values will be saved in the data editor. For each case, the predicted value is calculated. For instance, the first case, the height is 60.5.
putting 60.5 in that regression equation, the predicted value for y is 97.87531. And the observed value is 105. So the difference between these two is the residual. And that residual is also safe since we ask SPS to save it. And it's put in the data editor too. And the prediction interval is also saved in the data editor. So if you scroll the screen to the right, you will see this LMCI and UMCI. This stands for lower limit and upper limit for the confidence interval estimate for estimating the mean response. And if you try to predict individual case, then the confidence interval is the following. LICI is lower limit for the confidence interval estimate for individual case and UICI is upper limit for the confidence interval estimate for an individual case. And these are confidence interval estimate for the data that existing in the data set. If you have a new case that you want to do prediction, you can just put it down in the bottom row. For instance, if I have a case I wish to estimate the weight for individuals whose height is 70, just put 70 in here and make sure that this number is within the scope of the data that you use to build the model. Then you run the regression again, the whole regression again, and click on OK. Then SPSS will save the prediction result in a data editor. So if you scroll to the right, you will find the confidence interval and predictive value for that particular case. In the output, you should also see this normality plot. When you observe a normality plot, you see those dots scatter around the straight line, pretty much form a straight line pattern. That generally implies that the data support the normality assumption. This is the residual plot. You can double click on it to bring up the chart editor and click on the fit line button to fit a straight line through your residual plot as a reference line for zero. And you can use residual plot to check the equal variance assumption or to see whether the model describes the pattern of the data pretty well.